So, so how's the job hunt going? <laughs> I, I had many any bad news, so I'm waiting for a chance. But uh, uh, labor market um, uh, hasn't hasn't uh, started uh, uh, in Hungary yet. So mm. I'm, I, I'm I am waiting for for the new possibilities, but uh, it is it, it is the most difficult uh, uh, day in in our life. So, yeah. Yeah, it's. I was I was unemployed for seven months once, and it was like, uh, you know, at the at one t part of me enjoyed it because I was getting an unemployment uh, money, but part of me felt very bad. So. Yeah, and I know uh, an unemployment uh, uh, compensation from 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 uh, Hungarian government is is uh, is is uh, is uh, awful. Uh, mm -hmm. So uh, there are two two uh, advantage. One of them is uh, my English uh, uh, is improving um, mm -hmm. continuously, and, the, uh, and another one uh, I can uh, look at uh, and uh, take care of my, my baby. Uh huh. Yeah, and that's kind of where I was uh, at most most of the time. I, I, even though the unemployment that I received was was actually very very poor as far as um, compensation. I mean, I got paid um, maybe ten percent or fifteen percent of what, what I was getting paid because in Idaho they pay everybody the same amount. Um, you know they have a, a well, they have a certain amount they pay people, and it's based on uh, what you were doing beforehand. And um, anyway, uh, so what, I wasn't getting paid very much, and that's why I moved in with my sister actually and her husband, and I just stayed. <laughs> so, um, but uh, it was. Um, it was it was nice to get the money, but then at the same time it was very frustrating. Salvatore, you've changed your picture again. Hi, Ollie. Hi. Yes, good morning. This, I changed picture. This this is a uh, who is this? He's a uh, he's a uh, comic. He's a comic of uh, Dante Alighieri. Okay. All right. All right. And hello, Jin Yu. How are you today? Hi, teacher. Can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. How are you doing? I'm fine. Excellent, excellent. And hello again, Alexander. Welcome back. Glad to see you all here. So for this lesson, we will be doing a a lesson on corporate crime. So let's let's go ahead and get started. Um, and this is a uh, this is a vocabulary. We start out with vocabulary, and then we get into um, uh, get into a reading exercise. So, so, and I will read your guys's comments later <laughs> about about Montini. So. Uh, Let's match the corporate crimes with their definitions. First of all, has anybody here ever been involved or been in a company when a corporate crime was taken place? Any of you ever seen one of your colleagues carted out <laughs> or on the news or anything like that? I sometimes have seen some news from mm -hmm. the newspaper. Mm -hmm. but, uh, actually, I didn't uh, experience uh, this kind of crime. Mm -hmm. Okay. Right. And how about you, um, Alexander? Uh, no, I don't uh, have any experience. Only uh, as uh, like a uh, genuine, also only on TV. Only, only seen on TV and movies yes. and stuff like that. Salvatore, do you have any experience, or have you know anybody with experience with in corporate crime? No, uh, I don't have uh, any experience about uh, in corporate crime, 
I just uh, uh, see uh, saw the news on the television. Mm -hmm. For okay. example, uh, in Italy, uh, there was the the corporate crime uh, about uh, Parmalat. Yes, and which we'll be reading actually about that one too. So, excellent. All right, and um, Cornell, are you familiar with any corporate crimes? Do you know people that were yeah, uh, for example, for example, tax uh, evasion is uh, very popular <laughs> in in Hungary, and the Hungarian people are very uh, cre creative. <laughs> uh huh. So we would say instead of popular, because popular yeah. means yeah. It, especially uh, especially VAT. Okay. Yeah. So tax inva evasion, not invasion. <laughs> I just wrote the wrong thing. Tax evasion. Evasion is very common instead of popular. Yeah. Common would be a better word. Mm -hmm. So it, especially VAT tax. Okay, I can. Uh, yeah. <laughs> or especially when you, you when you're traveling and you come back. And is now is Hungary part of the EU yet? Yes. Okay. I was thinking it was. So. All right. Yeah, I was. Um, when I was at this, I, many of you guys have heard about the company I worked at before I started to teach again. Um, one of the things that happened was my I was part of the training department, and the training manager started doing bomb threats during uh, when we were training everybody, and we had uh, at least two or three bomb threats and. About six months later, he was arrested. So <laughs> it was like, ah, oh, really? No way. We, we were very surprised. He spent six months in jail, and he's lost a very good job and a very good career. So anyway, let's. We're, what we're going to do is we're going to match the corporate crimes with their definitions. We have price fixing. Teacher. Hi, teacher. I can't hear you. What happened? Okay, okay. It came back. <laughs> and that's oh. really, uh, 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 can you hear me again? I can't hear you. What okay. happened? Maybe um, you have uh, the collection problem. Um, it's either a connection problem or I don't know. The computer just froze. <laughs> so, oh, teacher. Yes. You have told me you have bought a new computer. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Are you using your new computer? Yes, I'm using the new computer. Oh. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. But I, I, it's it's used so much that it's starting to not be new anymore so I might need to get another new computer but <laughs> anyway how where were we we were, was I embezzlement when I stopped embezzlement uh, commercial bri bribery industrial espionage copyright infringement so in our uh, Salvatore and Cornell are you guys talking about soccer or football Yes, of course. <laughs> okay. I just had to check. <laughs> yeah, Salvatore should have been in the last class, you know, when I asked everybody. Yeah, Salvatore, uh, Salvatore is a huge uh, internet uh, fan. He's, is he? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, uh, can, I, can I say one thing? Uh -huh. uh, Cornel, uh, your, your son uh, maybe will play football, uh, will play football uh, with you. Right. Yes. 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 It look, looks like he has no choice. Look at his room. Yeah. <laughs> football, football. You are right. That's <laughs> true. So, all right. So let's let's go ahead and do this matching. And um, uh, Jin Yu, can you read the very first uh, letter A, and let's see if we can match this to the right, the right corporate crime. A. Hey. Give money to an employee of your potential buyer to secure an advantage over your business 
Competitors. Yes. And uh, let's start. Go ahead and say say this first word. Giving money. Giving money. Okay. Giving money. Because when you first said it, I didn't hear the ing part. So giving, giving money. Okay. Okay. And so what would that be? Giving money to an employee of your potential buyer to secure an advantage over your business competitors. Anybody know what that one would be? Any idea? I think this is a topic nobody knows anything about, <laughs> so we're all, we're all even. Oh, six commercial bribery. Um, okay. I'm guessing. <laughs> you are absolutely correct. It is. <laughs> it is correct. It's commercial bribery. On my experience. <laughs> it's based. It's it's based on my experience. Excellent. Great. Thank you, Salvatore. Could you read the next one? Yes. <clears throat> Illegally paying less tax than you should pay. Okay. So let's mm -hmm. let's let's uh, practice this first word. Illegally. Illegally. Yeah. Illegally Ill paying. Ill illegally. Okay. Illegally pay. Okay. Okay, and what one would that be? Uh, tax evasion. Yeah, tax evasion. Correct. Okay. And um, uh, Cornell, could you read the next one? Uh, keeping prices at a certain level by secret agreement between competitors. For some price fixing. Price fixing, yes. Price fixing. Oops, I made a mistake here. <laughs> Six. Okay, and um, Alexander, could you read the next one? Marketing that gives incorrect information about the nature, characteristics, qualities, or geographic origin of a product or service. And that would be? False. False advertising. False advertising. Okay. Correct. D. Okay, false advertising. Perfect. Okay, and E, Xin Yu, can you read that one? E. Reproducing, distributing, displaying, or performing something without permission from the creator. Okay. Eight. Copyright uh, infringement. Copyright infringement, perfect. Mm. Okay, and I think that's common in some countries and illegal in others. So, okay, and number uh, letter F. This phenomenon is very popular in China. Yes, <laughs> that's what I I I, I, I have heard how it is. Uh, it is very, very, very. Instead of popular, mm. we would say it's very common. Um, yes. Popular usually, if something is popular, it's it's more positive. Mm. This positive. phenomenon is common in China. Yeah, exactly. You'd say it's more common. Common would be uh, kind of the better word. Now, popular isn't wrong. It's just uh, common is is would be better for this in this area. Mm -hmm. The okay. president, the president Obama, in the USA, often criticizes the Chinese government for about this issue. Really? Yes, yes. <laughs> the USA government often negotiated with the Chinese government about the copyright 
protection. Oh, wow, I wasn't aware of that. No problem. Wow. I knew that there were other issues that they were critical of, of China about, but I, but of course it makes sense. The copyright would be an issue that they would definitely uh, be critical critical of. So, hello, uh, AKA Ken. <laughs> yes, hello. How are you? Yes, I'm fine, thank you. Good. Okay, so could you read number F or letter F? F. F. Uh, stealing company money that you are trusted with. Mm. Maybe uh, in stealing company you are trusted with. Ins uh, insider dealing? Insider trading uh, or insider dealing? Um, no. Uh, industrial ex exponage. No, industrial espionage. Uh, no, that's spying. Espionage okay. is spying. <laughs> that oh, means no. that, that word, em embezzlement. Embezzlement. Okay, yes. Yeah. So these are some new words for a lot of you guys. So embezzlement. So if you, it comes from the verb to embezzle. So if you embezzle, it means you steal money from your company. Uh, a lot of times bookkeepers, accountants, those kind of people are the ones who are uh, charged with embezzlement. So, all right, um, uh, Salvatore, could you read uh, letter, uh, letter G? Stealing trade secrets by copy. Letter G. Copy yeah, oh, I'm sorry, you were I'm sorry, you're right. Okay. I'm sorry. <laughs> no, no problem. Stealing trade secrets by copying or recording confidential information for use by a competitor. Mm. Uh, industrial espionage. Uh, yeah, industrial espionage. 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 And if ever, yeah, 007, <laughs> James Bond. He was in the field of espionage. So another word for uh, being a spy is espionage. So it, so basically, if you're involved with uh, industrial espionage, it's like corporate. You're the corporate spy. So okay, and then the final one, um, Cornell, could you read that letter H? Uh, using confidential information about a company to buy or sell. It's shares, shares, mm, inside, insider dealing. Mm -hmm. Does anybody know what another word w for this one would be? Insider trading. Um, and, and so. Uh, car uh, cartel. Excuse me? Cartel. Cartel? Hmm? No. Uh, no. Car a cartel is uh, a little bit different. Um, but that has more to do with monopolies and 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 so forth. Um, okay, so uh, um, Alexander, when you uh, are listening to the news about corporate cl crime in in Russia, which one of these corporate crimes do you hear about the most? Uh, <clears throat> lately, it's. Um Price, uh, price fixing. Price fixing. Okay. And oh, um, what type of price fixing? What were they? Uh, as it uh, as it written, keeping prices at certain level by secret agreement between competitors. Mm, okay. But uh, uh, government. Uh, not can can't do nothing. Okay, so the government can't do anything. Okay, can't do anything. Now, uh, for example, one thing I've wondered about as far, as far as price fixing, I um I've heard about some uh, in my country the gas and the petrol prices have gone way down, but I've heard that there are some countries where they have not. They they keep increasing. Do you think that could be because of price fixing? For me, yes. My yeah, country. it's increasing. Is is, is gas is increasing? 
not only gas uh, uh, basic products. Really? The, yes. And, and it's instance, because of price prices. One day, ten eggs cost, for instance, in dollar, one uh -huh. dollar. Another day, it's everywhere, just in every, in every distributor, comp, uh, uh, companies. It costs two dollars, and wow. uh, and it's only egg, <laughs> eggs. It's wow. uh, almost with every every product products. Wow. Yeah. Amazing. Yes. Uh, very <laughs> right right now we are ecstatic and el elated um, elated means very happy about uh, about the um, gas prices here in the US <laughs> I think I spelled that wrong ecstatic um, but I think that that's that gets price fixed a lot. <clears throat> so, all right, okay, Ken. How about in Japan? Mm -hmm. When you listen to the to the news, news. Um, which of these corporate crimes do you hear about the most? Maybe uh, tax evasion <clears throat> mm -hmm. and uh, how can I say uh, wind wind dressed. Close the rest account. These two use. So so what? Window dress accounts. Winter dress accounts. Yeah, I found it on the dictionary. Yeah, tax evasion and this. Window dress accounts. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. Yeah, yeah, I had I I know I, I know what it means by looking at it. But so window dressed accounts is an account that is <laughs> probably used by it, it makes a, uh, they look one way but in reality they're another way. The the money's mm -hmm. coming from one thing. So probably yeah, yeah. they're doing a, money, a lot of what we call money money laundering. <laughs> mm, probably, yeah. So, all right. And um, Cornell, how about in Hungary? Which of these um, corporate crimes do you hear about the most? Yeah, as I mentioned before, the, the, the most common uh, corporate uh, crime is uh, tax evasion uh, mm -hmm. in, in, right. in Hungary, uh, especially VAT, uh, fo focusing on uh, import uh, something from uh, abroad. Mm -hmm. Okay, as people come in from different countries, I remember mm -hmm. when I was in Finland, one of our member, one of our MPs, the member of Parliament, came in from Spain or France or something like that, and did not um, uh, did not report what she had spent. <laughs> and admit, yes. Yeah. No. Exactly. She did not admit. She got caught. And she or he, I can't remember, and it was a big, oh, a big controversy. Or maybe it was the, the vice president of Nokia or some, somebody really big, and it was a big controversy. Oh, no, you know, tax evasion, Every, everybody does it. But So, okay, Salvatore, how about in Italy? What, which um, of these corporate crimes do you hear of the most? Uh, the most corporate crime that uh, I hear on television it is the tax evasion. Uh -huh. uh, for example, uh, some company uh, ev evaded the taxes, but uh, also there are uh, some famous people that uh, evaded, evaded the taxes. And uh, I can say one uh, one person uh, is it is famous in Italy uh, is uh, uh, Diego Armando Maradona. Uh, for example, he he has evading taxes of for from a state of Italy, and the uh, the Italian state uh, accus accused Diego Armando Maradona for a taxes evasion. Mm -hmm. So was he arrested or no, charged? Uh, no, but uh, uh, 
the state of uh, Italy, uh, how can I say, uh, he, he start uh, legally uh, process uh, about Diego Maradona for this. Mm -hmm. okay. by, by the way, Salvatore, uh, was there any watch story regarding Maradona? Was on there? Because, uh, because uh, when uh, Diego Maradona, Diego Maradona uh, played in Italy, uh, he don't, he doesn't play, he doesn't pay the taxes in Italy for this. <coughs> and is it, is he a football player? Yes, it uh, okay. is considered uh, the the best football play all uh, all the time. And does he does he who does he play for now? Uh, he doesn't play anymore. Okay, so he's retired. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Okay. All right, but he he was caught for tax evasion, so. All right, and uh, Jin Yu, you said that probably the most common one is copyright uh, infringement. What is what is the general attitude by by ch the Chinese about copyright infringement? Do they see it as okay or not okay? Most uh, of Chinese people are not uh, rich. Mm -hmm. They can they can accept the copyright infringement, mm -hmm. but uh, in my opinion, I think uh, we should uh, protect the copyright. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Uh, teacher, uh -huh. I tell you some other crimes. Okay. Which uh, I tell you, I tell you some other crime which is coming in China. Okay. It is uh, it's uh, the it's the embezzlement. Embezzlement. It's the embezzlement. Okay, some so we say embezzlement. Embezzlement. Um, it's uh, embezzlement. Did yes, I pronounce it. this rightly? No, no, you're not saying the Z's. So embezzlement. Embezzlement. Yeah, you're not pronouncing the Z because you're trying to say the L. Embezzlement. Embezzle. You can, embezzlement. <laughs> you can keep track. Keep keep practicing it. <laughs> Keep. Embezzlement. Yeah, it says so bezel. Embezzlement. Yeah. Mm. Uh, it's the embezzlement. Okay. Yeah, well, you, now you're doing embezzlement. So that's how you're sounding, okay? So we need to say <laughs> embezzlement. Embezzlement. So it's the embezzlement. That's something you need to practice. Just, uh, mm. but um, <clears throat> say yeah. that separately. Z. Should I continue Z. my talk? Yes, go ahead. Go for it. Embezzlement. Mm. Go on. Go on. We'll we'll skip this word. So, <laughs> some special word. Uh, it's uh, very difficult for me to pronounce. Uh huh. No worries. Mm. So embezzlement is a is a common. Uh, corporate crime then in China? Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, some, some corrupt officials embarrow the, the money from the people, mm -hmm. company, mm -hmm. or the government. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, okay. the, the central government is taking the strict uh, Measures to punish the corrupt official mm -hmm. officials. Okay. And Peter, do you know this news? I have not heard this news, but I, it's good to hear. <laughs> it, but is it actually working? Mm. Uh, the USA. 
is、uh, the market economy, but、uh, in China the situation is、uh, totally different. Uh huh. All economy depends on the depends on the plans. Hello. Depends on the plans of what the government has decided. Uh, the government uh, is uh, playing an important、uh, roles in the development、uh, economy. Mm-hmm. Okay. So the so so, but because of that, you have a lot of corrupt. Uh, bureaucrats. Yes, who yes, are yes. Embezzling、um, yes, funds. Yes, yes, yeah. yes. Yes. Okay.、Uh, some corrupt officer, some、mm-hmm. corrupt officers steal money from the people and the government. They、mm-hmm. tried to send their money to the USA, Canada, and、uh, Switzerland. <laughs> Switzerland and、yeah. uh, Australia. <laughs> oh wow! <laughs>、yeah. Now th- it, it's interesting because、um, even though we have our economies are based on different things, as far as what what I hear about the most when when you hear the news, <coughs> excuse me, in the U.S., embezzlement is probably the biggest crime as well. Um, in fact, there was there's a little town about five miles from from、um, where I live that where the city clerk embezzled several million dollars from、oh, from the it's, city. It's terrible. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so、um, I is, I can't believe that. Yeah, it happened, and it it happens、uh, not just in cities but also in companies. Anybody that is trusted with、uh, accounts could embezzle, and so it it does happen. So let's look at the list of punishments below. So as a group, let's put them in order from one, the most lenient, to five, the most sincere. So we have a compensation order, an immediate dismissal, a prison sentence, a heavy fine, or life imprisonment. So,、um, in your opinion. So wait a minute, Cornell. I just read what you just wrote.、Um, talk to us about that. Yeah, I I、uh, I don't own a bank chart yet, but、uh, there is a statement from a Swiss government that、uh, the black, not black money, uh, uh, secret money uh, will be revealed uh, uh, in the Swiss banks,、uh, but I don't know the bank chart yet. Okay. One or, uh, one or、uh, two days uh, later, uh, year years later. So one or two years instead of later, one or t- one or two years from now.、Uh, sorry. One in in one or two years. Yeah, yeah.、Okay. From now. Okay. So、uh, later is used in a different way. So you would say either from now or in one or two years.、Um, yeah, okay. You would use later. When you were talking about the past, and and so it's a it's a little bit different. So anyway, so let's look at this list of、uh, punishments.、Uh, so I, A, AKA A is gone.、Uh, so、uh, Alexander, what which one of these do you think is the most lenient? Actually, I know only first. <laughs> I don't know、uh, others. Okay.、Meaning、so, the, what is the first? Compensation order. That、uh, the one who commit the crime should、uh, maybe pay compensation. Okay. And you, so you would say that that is the most lenient? No, just no. That's the only one you the know. Meaning, okay. The meaning, oh, yes. Okay. The all right. Well, so so first of all, let's talk about what the meanings mean. Okay, so c- compensation order. Yes, that the person who commits a crime must pay some.、Um, uh, say pay basically pay the money back.、Um, 
an immediate dismissal. Does anybody know? Can anybody explain what that means? Do you start kind of talking? Um, go go ahead. Are you it's sure? Your turn. Okay. It's your turn. Yeah. Uh, <clears throat> and immediate this means uh, uh, sack uh, someone uh, right away. Yeah, basically to fire or to sack, and very very quickly. Um, so you hear you um, you hear that somebody has done this crime. That person's out the door the minute you hear it. So, okay, a prison sentence. Um, does anyone, uh, Jin Yu, do you know this one? Hey. If you commit uh, some crimes, the mm, the judges will put uh, you into the jails. Mhm. Mm yeah, and actually, a jail in English, a jail is usually short term. I don't know. And jail is short term, and prison is long term. Mm. So that's that's one of the differences, <clears throat> and it and it also depends on the kind of crime that you commit. But usually, uh, of course, this is these most of these corporate crimes are called are white collar crimes as well. Mm. So, okay, uh, a heavy fine. Salvatore, do you know what this means? Heavy fine, I'm not sure. Maybe mm, that uh, one person uh, go to the pre prison and uh, uh, he doesn't uh, treat well. Um, no, no, but that's a good guess, though. Um, but th what this is is, say for example, it's it's similar to a compensation order. The difference is a compensation order means that the um, the the person who committed the crime will pay pay the victims. So that's what a compensation order. But a heavy fine is when, say for example, uh, we when we speed. Um, in our car, we all get we all, all get a it's called a, a traffic violation, a traffic violation, and most of the time we we pay a fine. So a heavy fine is a, a much bigger. It's a lot more money that you must pay to uh, to the government for um, for committing the crime. Okay. So that's what that's what that is. So is, is it a huge fine? Yes, a huge fine, a big, a big fine. So traffic, any kind of violation. We any time we a person commits a crime, and they get caught, they usually have to pay a fine. It, you know, some type of fee or some type of fine. But a heavy fine is a, a much bigger one. So yeah, okay. AKA Ken. What is life imprisonment? Uh, kind of uh, stay in prison uh, through the lifetime, or more than lifetime in, in America. Sometimes American court ordered 200 years in prison or something like that. <laughs> yeah. yeah, you've heard it's of that. Good. that <laughs> yeah. stuff. Or in, in, um, actually in, this, in California, have you heard about the three strikes law in <laughs> California? I don't know. Three strikes for. It's called the three three strikes law. If you commit crime three times. Yep. Maybe such kind of thing. Yep, and and it comes from baseball. So oh, yeah. if, if you <laughs> have, yeah if you if you have three strikes you are out. So so basically in in California they have a a three strikes law that if you commit three three. Three three crimes, then you are uh, then you are in prison for the rest of your life. <laughs> so that's a that's actually quite stiff compared to many other states. <laughs> so, um, all right. So which one do you think? Um, um, 
Alexander, which one do you think is the most lenient crime uh, punishment here? I'm not catch all because I had to use my dictionary, but oh. one of the two. I can't help you. An immediate, an, in, an immediate dismissal. Yes. Yes. Okay. Yes. Number one is immediate. He said that he couldn't. He w ended up using his dictionary, but he an immediate dismissal would be the most lenient crime. Okay, what would the, be the next lenient crime, uh, Cornell? What do you think? Well, it 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 uh, depends. It depends. Uh, compensation order or a heavy fine. <laughs> yeah, it's a heavy fine. Usually, a compensation order is a lot more, <laughs> but it's right after that. Uh, Compensation order is next. So, um, and uh, Salvatore, what which one is next? A prison prison sentence. A pr prison sentence, yes. And then finally, of course, life imprisonment. Okay. All right. Um, so. I want to. We're going to skip this talking point till. I wanted to read. Okay, never mind. We will do this talking point. <laughs> so, which types of corporate crimes do you think are the most serious? Um, okay. Mm, maybe. Uh, insider trading. Okay. Why would you say insider trading would be the most serious? Because uh, in that way, uh, rich uh, people uh, going to be rich, richer, 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 have, mm -hmm. have and have not, gap between have and have not, uh, tend mm -hmm. to be widened. Okay. All right. So the haves, the haves and have nots, the gap between the haves and have not have nots will wide, widen. So, okay. And, and it's... it's it's very easy, I, I think. It's just leaking information. That, that's it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it, it, it definitely can be quite easy. So, um, Alexander, in your opinion, which types of corporate crimes do you think are the most serious? Uh, embezzlement, I think. Embezzlement? Okay, why would you say embezzlement? Mm, is it uh, still, yes? Like. Yeah, because it's it's theft, it's stealing. Yes, you're stealing yeah, money. Uh, uh, especially when it's um, not uh, just small worker. Uh, uh huh. When it's, uh, for instance. Co-founder of company with uh, um, it uh, a big damage, I think. Mm -hmm. It could, it could, it would, ca it could cause a big damage for the company. Yes, yeah, so ex exactly. All right, and um, Cornell, what do you think? What do you think is the most what corporate crime do you think are the most serious? In my point of view, uh, all of them uh, mm -hmm. uh, is is very uh, serious. The, but all of them are very are, serious. Okay, sorry, are yeah. very, very uh, serious. But, uh, yeah, and and all of them uh, uh, relate uh, to to uh, to to many. So, embezzlement or or industrial esp espionage. So, it, it is my opinion. Okay, so they're all related in any way, in many respects. Okay, all right. And um, Salvatore, how about you? Which of these types of corporate crimes crimes would you think would be the most serious? Uh, I think that uh, all uh, are, uh, are bad things. But if uh, I I have uh, choose uh, I choose uh, 
the false uh, advesting because uh, if you uh, make this uh, false false advesting people then uh, uh, buy the product and uh, uh, you can elude all people uh, for the use uh, the this thing mm -hmm. okay so false in this one we need to pronounce this middle part adver advertising advertising so advertising yeah advertising. so false advertising okay yeah cuz a lot of people can be uh you know tricked tr 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 with because of false advertising exactly okay and Jin Yu, in your opinion which one of these uh types of corporate crimes would be uh the most serious Hi, teacher. Can you hear me? Yes. Uh, I think uh, the copyright infringement is uh, the most uh, serious. The cre the the cre a the cre a the cre activity the cre activity is the most uh, important invention in the world. The, the what activity? Uh, Say that again. Oh, I type this word. My bad okay. pronunciation. Okay. The cray, the cray way activity. Okay. Oh. Oh, creativity. Okay, so instead of don't one of the things that why I didn't understand you was because you put the in it. So don't have the. You can say creativity is one oh. of the most uh, important things in the world. Mm. Okay. Uh, or a cre creativity. The creativity. No, no the, no the. Mm. So you if you, you can say a person's uh, creativity. Mm. Mm. Okay, or you could say just creativity. Mm. Creativity is uh, one of the most uh, important invention in the world. Uh huh. Mm. Yeah, and then people taking that creativity and making it their own. Mm. Okay. Oh, oh, teacher, I can uh -huh. give you some examples. Uh huh. The internet. And uh, the computers are very common in the daily life, but uh, these uh, great uh, inventions are created by the most uh, intelligent uh, genius who invented. Mm -hmm. It's true. And we're talking because of somebody's creativity. Absolutely, I agree with you. Yes, so. yes. Okay. Uh, so, oh, oh. Okay, I, so let's, I, I'm sorry, I no, talked too much. No, no, no. You're fine. You're fine. So let's go on to the um to the. What do you think is the least serious? So, Jenny, why don't you start? What do you think is the least serious? Not very mm. serious on this list. Uh, the least uh, serious. Is uh, is uh, a price fixing. <laughs> price fixing. Okay. Why would you say that? Mm. I only give you the example in China. Okay. Hmm. Uh, the 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 common products like uh, meat, eggs, and uh, vegetables is uh, very important for the common people. But uh, sometimes the price the prices of those products are rather Ramping are rising quickly, so our government 
often take some measures to keep the keep the prices stable. Okay. Okay. Excellent. Thank you. Okay. One thing. This is this is something I've I've corrected several times today. Um, we actually do not say this. Uh, this section right here with this word, it's not vegetables. Uh, this is a very common mistake made by non-native speakers of English. We actually pronounce it vegetables. 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 And so this might be uh, uh, important for all of you guys. This vegetables. Is, uh, vegetables. Did I pronounce vegetables. correctly? You did. You pronounced it correctly. Excellent. Mm. All right. Thank so, Salvatore, how about you? What do you think is the least serious crime of this on this list? I think um, the least uh, serious crimes maybe could be um, maybe could be industrial uh, could be industrial espionage. So espionage. 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 Yeah. Okay. And so why would you say industrial espionage? Espionage would be the least serious. Mm, because uh, many company uh, looking for uh, a new idea and uh, a lot of time uh, they don't uh, they can't uh, find. Uh, an idea and they tend, uh, uh, to, they, tend, they want to make the same thing that the other company make to make. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, and that's okay for them to do that? No, it's not okay. Okay, okay. but <laughs> it's, uh, in my opinion, it's in my opinion maybe could be the less of the bad. Okay, so this we would say uh, the the le, le, the less uh, the, say for example the the lesser of the two for example two evils <laughs> so so this is uh, evils two evils okay. so we could say the the least of the worst least of the bad of the bad is <laughs> is a good way of saying that so um. Uh, Cornell, how about you? Is there any of these? You said that they're all bad. <laughs> so, is there any yeah. one that is as like least serious, less serious than mm -hmm. any of the rest? Yeah, I, I have uh, just uh, reviewed uh, uh, again uh, on the list. So, uh -huh. um, at least uh, price fixing. Mm -hmm. Okay, you would say price fixing is not as bad as the other ones. Yeah, yeah, because. Uh, yeah, but but uh, it uh, it uh, re refers to consumers uh, uh -huh. as, as well. But uh, it is it is it is not a, uh, a huge uh, uh, corporate crime. Mm -hmm. Okay. In my right. opinion. Okay. Thank you. And um, how about you, Alexander? What would you say would be the least serious on this list? Alexander, are you there? Yes, yes, yes. Okay, uh, okay. Really don't know. Okay. No idea. No idea. No worries. No worries. No worries. Let's go to the next question. Okay, we've already talked about this, the most common in your country. Um, Okay, let's go to number five. Should corporate criminals be punished more severely than other crimes? What do you think, Alexander? Depends on crimes. Yes. Okay. Uh huh. Yes. So, say for example, should a corporate should should uh, for example embezzlement. Uh, be punished more severely than um, uh, murder. No, no, it costs more than murder, but mostly it ends by uh, firing. 
at the market should uh -huh. uh, should uh, put him at least in jail, mm -hmm. but maybe in prison depends on mm -hmm. what, okay. what he stole. In in my in my country they have a minimum. I'm sure they do have them in your countries as well. Min uh, let's see, minimum uh, security prisons. And then we have a maximum, max, maximum security prisons. Um, and usually we put the uh, the corporate crimes, which we call white collar crimes, into the minimum security prisons. Is that the same in your country, or do you know anyone? Cornell, how about in your country? Do you, do you guys put white collar crimes in the minimum or maximum security prisons? Uh, what, what, what was the question? Uh, d uh, people who uh, are there any uh, minimum security prisons and the maximum security prisons? Yeah. Yeah, of course. Uh, it 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 depends on our corporate crime. So um, uh, each each uh, corporate uh, crime. Uh, 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 is is regulated. Mm -hmm. So it depends uh, on according it. to Hungarian laws. Uh huh. Okay. And do you yeah. also have minimum and maximum security prisons? Yeah. 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 Okay. There are both. Mm -hmm. In Hungary. Okay. All right. It looks like we're out of time. So I hope you guys learned some new words. So embezzlement. Uh, so um, be sure to s pronounce the, the Z when you say embezzle. Embezzle. So it's basically when you do the embezzle, you you pronounce the Z in the front of the mouth. Z, oh, and then you then it goes into the back uh, of the mouth. Z, uh, oh, uh, it's uh, so it's and, really and, uh, it's very difficult. So keep practicing that word. But embezzle. anyway, embezzle. yeah. Anyway, I'll see you guys all uh, to hopefully tomorrow. Um, uh, it's, uh, during one of the classes and have a wonderful day and uh, for those of you who are in Europe and for those of you who are in Asia have a ha continue to have a good day so have a great day Jin Yu. Thank, thank you, you. Have a nice day. bye, bye. and I'm bye. heading to bed <laughs> bye. bye thank you